That's that's why I fell in love with. I mean, I love Yu-Gi-Oh as as the card game. Nowadays, it's like a little bit. I'm not a fan of the current Yu-Gi-Oh card meta, but like, I definitely can tell people like there, I, there's a lot that I love about Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole. Uh, which is why I still enjoy that game as a guilty pleasure. Uh, but of course, it is going to be Ape Man versus MCAT living out his guilty pleasure as a Diddy main because he did say this on Twitter. He was going to go all Diddy uh, today on the. MSM Online, and honestly, Ape Man is the king of consistent top eight MSM Online's. Nobody else has the most MSM Online Ws, but also, I think Jake is like the only other player who like comes close enough. Ape Man using that, uh, try, trying to throw that banana, but good shield coming out from MCAT. Using the up throw and a back here coming out, using that banana peel once again. MCAT shielding the banana peel again. Over and over. Nice catch from the banana peel. Another catch coming out from 8-Bit Man. He's in the side B right there. Oh man, getting hit by that explosive flame. That's not good. Oh, good use of the up smash to catch him uh, from the animation end lag. Yep. Neutral air. Oh, that back. That, that ending hit of neutral air is hurt. Oh, watch yourself, 8-Bit Man. I was going to say, he knows how to get that angle. Ape Man has been no the jump move this hurt box into the blast zone. That's where it's gonna hurt. Down tilt. I like that. Look at that patience. He was waiting for that directional air dodge panic some players normally go for. That was actually a skill check. He literally said, Let me down tilt you. See how good you actually are. If you fall into this by a directional air dodge, you ain't that great, fam. But if you actually die this other way, I'll give you some credit. That was good from Ape Man. That just goes to show his skill as a player, but also his veteran level status. Yeah, that's interesting that uh, Ape Man chooses a uh, Diddy this tournament. I mean, I mean, if he wins using Diddy, I'll be, um, I'll give, I'll give the man a clap and a half, you know. <laughs> I have, to, I, I hate Diddy, but I, the one thing about Ape Man is he has such a good pool of two characters that he uses to cover matchups in both Diddy and Rob, and he's also just so happens to be really good with both of these characters. So I think that's what makes him a strong player overall, but also like his just ability to try to understand of like, okay, I set this up to read you to do to this. He he always tries to stay now just one step ahead of you, but I kind of want to say like Ape It Man is almost the trap master of using things like projectiles because he does he has such a way with them. Missing that up smash though, but that was really good shielding from MCAT waiting for. Ape Man to bite, and he was able to use that explosive flame to finish off Ape Man's second stock. Using that banana peel once again, but as always, M uh, MCAT has been able to shield it a lot. He's, yeah. he's being very passive aggressive, as you could see. Yeah, and that's good too. The one thing I am like about Ape Man as well is like he's going for constant, like, all right, hit and runs. So let me get one hit. You're on shield, let me get away. Let me get this hit, you're not getting hit by it. All right, cool, I'll find another opening. He doesn't stick around that wall of Palatine to shield and aerials for too long. He knows, I gotta get my damage in and I gotta get out. Cause if not, I find myself in situations like these. Yeah, Ape Man getting back to the stage. Uh, the, the banana peel sitting in the bottom right and he just grabbed it using it. Oh, he missed that down tilt though, but nice grab with, with the up air. Another back air. Yeah, looks like that's like one of his bread and butter combos. Using the banana peel once again, using a down tilt with an up smash. Wow, it looks like Ape Man always has that banana peel, the banana peel on set to be ready for use and using that up smash to read that normal getup. Yeah, but I, I also like how he held banana there towards center stage. It looks very minuscule, but the thing that, that separates it from just a regular banana is that it's at center stage. So if Palutena were to try to find herself anywhere towards that general area, you'd have to think, take into consideration like she has to interact. She's going to either A, interact with banana, B, get hit by banana, or C, worry about Diddy and banana at the same time. And C is active all the time. So Ape Man just having banana there and then just reading MCAT on the getup was super smooth. Honestly, I think that's the way that Ape Man has been playing this. He's just been reading MCAT a lot of times on the way MCAT just gets up. And MCAT has been falling to it so far every time. But like you I said... That? Sorry, like I said, like, Ape Man, he's kind of a trap master. He knows how to set up to these situations on, so to speak, the fighting game chessboard. He knows what he's looking for when he's trying to get that queen and that knight out of there. 
As, but as you said that he's being a trap master, those traps take time to set up. Even if it's a little or a lot of time, it's still time that could be used for, for uh, MCAT's advantage. Right, right. All right, using that monkey flip to get out of there. Oh man, getting hit by that neutral special and the explosive flame, but... Right now, uh, they're, they're pretty even, very close in percentage right now. I think the banana just dis- or no, it didn't disappear, he actually- <laughs> oh, I think it disappeared, I, I don't know, it happened so fast. Oh, the banana with the down tilt, another up smash. Wow, that's like his bread and butter for closing out stocks. Yeah, that up smash has such a range, but not only does it have such a good range, the way the Ape Man, like I said, the way he's using it, he's looking to set himself situations where if, if MCAT is looking to escape from it, it's because he's jumping out of shield or he's jumping at wrong opportunities, and that's because Ape Man has earned that up smash. And I think that's what I'm liking about Ape Man. He looks to earn his confirms, and he knows they're earned because he's always getting them. Oh, nice, uh, good use of the back throw to just get him off stage. Oh, getting hit from that forward air, dash attack, and he grabbed that banana. Wow. Getting back up. Oh, nice shield. Being, uh, waiting for MCAT to do something and <clears throat> punishing off of it. And that good use of the explosive flame, though. Missing that monkey flip. Also, MCAT did miss that dash attack. Oh, that banana looked like it, uh, it made... Ape Man slipped for a second. Now MCAT has position, possession of the banana. Now it's Ape Man's. Yep. Good for him to set up that high banana, too. Look at where it lands as well. If Palutena wanted to stay towards the ledge, she has to worry about like getting hit by banana, You know, even trying to probably shield banana trip or even grab it. There's a lot that goes on. Oh, what a change up here! All the way to the dash attack to the up air. I don't know why, but whenever I see Diddy Kong players and they're using banana a lot, it gives me a Smash Brawl um, flashbacks. Oh God, I don't want to think about. I don't, I don't want to think about. I never liked Smash Four Diddy, and I never liked Brawl Diddy. I don't even like Ultimate Diddy. Like I have a bias against this character, but man, yeah, I, I feel your pain. I mean, I never really, I never really knew brawl was a thing until like I got into uh, the the competitive aspect of Smash. So whenever when I tried it finally, I was like, oh god, what is this? <laughs> brawl is definitely a different time, and even then, Diddy was really great at brawl. Diddy still happens to remain pretty great here in Ultimate. Not as great as his former self, but look at that damage the Ape Man is definitely doing. He's making sure Diddy still looks great. All. All four games, I would say all three games around. Nonetheless, double back in here, and Ape Man stuck in a little bit of a combo. Hit after hit. Good charge, good charge, good charge, because that was going to be enough to put Ape Man 2 0 over MCAT here and winner semis. Man. Yeah, that charging was a smart move. He just wanted to, like, one thing that a lot of people do, like, they usually just tap it, but if if you you know that you have the time to charge it even just a little bit, it makes the your chances greater of getting that confirmed kill. Yeah, yeah, and it's really really good. It's such a strong part of Diddy's toolkit. It's literally like his biggest toolkit in the neutral, and even then he has like way more in the neutral. All right, if Ape Man wins this last one, then uh, he's going to move on to winner's finals and MCAT will go into loser's bracket. I was going to say, Chad, there is nothing wrong with anime. Now, there is such thing as too much of a good thing can be bad, but there is nothing wrong with anime. Anime is enjoyable to watch. I don't really watch anime and I know people are going to be uh, mad about that. But I mean, I, I, no, I don't know why. I never really got interested into anime. I don't know why. Uh, it's different. I think you, if you, when I was a kid, I used to watch anime with my uncle, like growing up as a kid. So I did watch like some of those old animes that were like from like the 90s, 80s, 70s, even, even 60s as far as that went. Uh, watching like bootleg anime VHSs. If you guys remember what a VHS is, that's a, so anime has been with me since I was like a baby. Uh, we can talk about anime some other time here. I mean, Ape Man's life is not like an anime because it is IRL. 
And this man, dude, I'm telling you right now, Ape Man is an IRL anime king. Because this man has definitely changed from... I'm, Ape Man inspires me. Like, if, if you want to look at, like, changing your lifestyle and trying to be a better version of you, man, Ape Man has changed from what he used to look like to how he is now. The man is a swole king. And definitely his gameplay demonstrates that as well. But let's get into the gameplay here because it is now trying to move Escape the Ledge here. Explosive Flame, that low recovery on the barrels here. And Ape Man is back in action. Ape Man sitting at a good old 67%, but getting MCAT into the red percent, which uh, allows him to possibly do a banana to down tilt to up smash, possibly. I mean, that is his bread and butter, so I, would, uh, I wouldn't mind trying to see it again. Oh, just yeah. using the banana to up smash. That's a still good use, but I can see why he did that because uh, if he tried to do a down tilt, MCAT would have been able to run out of it. Exactly. But also that up smash, it not, not necessarily, I wouldn't say it's like an anti-air, but it, it's literally like, does Palutena want to jump? Does she want to get out of shield? What's the common option? And that covers so much of that option as well. Even if Palutena doesn't jump, that still has solid horizontal range there with the up smash. Yeah, it's a lot of good information that you just stated, but right now, Ape Man just lost his first stock, but uh, he's got uh, MCAT at a above 50%. That's giving it, that's giving Ape Man a really good lead right now, and a big advantage. Uh, oh, getting backered by not actually landing that banana. Okay, look. Oh, that, I, he's I having know. a hard time land it, landing it. Sharp has a good choice of anime there. Because I, I did watch that anime that Sharp just mentioned. God, that's actually a good anime. Sharp has a point. Anyways. Well, nice use of the neutral. Uh, actually, getting counter. Uh, nice use of the counter there, but that up smash once again. No matter. Like, when in doubt, just use Diddy's up smash is what, lo is what looks like Ape Man's go to right now. Yeah. And kind of looking for that landing. What a great way to catch it, too, with Nair. No up air, down tilt to try to see if he can get that down tilt forward air again, or maybe a down tilt back air on the panic. Yeah, I mean, MCAT can still come back at this point because he's only at 29%, and pa since Palutena is very combo heavy with her Nairs and uh, her multi-hit moves, he could easily bring that back that percentage if he could just close out the stock right yeah. now. Just uh, that almost like tilt. that. Oh. Good use of the explosive flame though to protect the ledge. You can tell that he's uh he's actually preparing like to get hit or something. Like I feel like Ape Man once uh MCAT lands, I feel like what he should do is possibly grab because he's been shielding that uh MCAT's been shielding a lot. Yeah. So yeah. I mean he could take advantage of that and not shield himself and know that he's gonna shield and grab him. Yeah, and it's for good reason, too. It's the way that Ape Man puts on pressure with Banana, his aerials, everything all together. Like, that's one thing you could say from Ape Man. It's just, he knows how to put on that pressure. And if you can just earn that pressure into a shield grab, there's a few things you can do there. Ape Man holding shield, but that back are going to poke through. Auto Reticle missing the mark here. Ape Man just knows where he needs to go back on the stage here. That's going to be an up throw, up air. We'll say down throw, up air is the classic Diddy stuff. But, you know, sometimes Diddy likes to get a remix in here with up throw. That's a back throw. No, excuse me. He wants that up throw for the DI mix up. Anybody would have been DIing for back throw just because it gives you stage positioning and sets up for the edge guard. But up smash for the change up. I'm no, telling no, you, that's crazy because anybody would have been DIing for the forward smash. But it's the up smash that gives Ape Man the 3 0. One thing that I haven't seen Ape Man use, I think the entire match was the, uh, the peanut gun. Yeah. He never needed to. Like, there were some... I 